Welcome to another episode of Eat, Smoke, Drink. Today I'm reviewing the Caden Head Single Barrel Ardbeg 22 year old. If you're lucky enough to find more of these in the stores, get it immediately. If not, then you're too frigging slow. This was released as a special release and thank you Craig for letting me have this. Um, he, Let's me have I give them sexual favors for Uber premium bottlings. And um, look, why it's, why it's exciting to have an Ardbeg independently bottled is because they just don't bottle them that much independently. And when they do, it's really hard to find. Everyone fights over them, everyone goes crazy for them with for all the right reasons. For all the right reasons. Because an independently bottled Ardbeg, it is it is like Chalk and cheese with a distillery bottling. Yes, there are commonalities, but it is not like any other bottling you'll have. An independently bottled Ardbeg is uncensored, uncut. It is that red band trailer that you love to watch uh, because it has all of the gory scenes in there. It has the, you know, the, the nasty bits that they don't show on kids' hours of TV. And that's the independently bottled Ardbeg. I'm having a guess that there is some sherry influence in here or a sherry cask but look I'm not don't quote me on that I don't actually care what the barrels are I taste them and I decide if I like them so I've stopped finding out if they're sherry or bourbon I just kind of guess and you know but let's get nosing and from the nose I'm guessing it is going to be a sherry influence and it's a single barrel so it's probably a sherry but there's a 55.3 years old and how many bottles were released oh it doesn't say here I'll have to find the label there somewhere, but anyway, let's get nosing. So on the nose, you're not getting that immediate Ardbeg-esque smell, but I'm guessing it's a sherry influence. I'm getting that sherry floor in there, that floor that you get in the sherry, that funkiness, that flintiness. But then again, it's, it's misleading because it's Ardbeg, so you always get a little bit of that flintiness as well, that, that smokiness that can be easily confused. Cinnamon and nutmeg is quite clear, so definitely there. And now I'm getting that rubber. 55%. This whiskey is strong on the nose. You just gotta give it time to breathe. Oh man, it's like fresh rubber, hot rubber. When you leave your flip flops in the sun and then it just starts to get that smell. Like a fresh tire. I'll go further, it's like setting a tire on fire we've all done that come on don't pretend or putting shoes in the fire it smells like that burning rubber peat smoke quite quite heavy on the peat smoke i wouldn't say it's subtle at all it is actually quite in your face it really just hits you in the face it hits you right there but i'm also getting um condensed fruit i'm getting a a berry. I'm trying to think of what it is. I think it's a blueberry jam. I'm getting a condensed blueberry jam, a bit of orange marmalade, candied orange, ginger, candied ginger, very sweet on the nose, but also very spicy and very fruity, very complex. I'm getting wet dirt. I'm getting leaf litter, you know when you go for a walk in the forest and then it's just been raining, you're getting that mossy smell, that leaf litter smell, wet wood, wet soil, very organic smelling, iodine, a little salinity in there as well. It's got distinct umami in there, fatty, like a fatty salami, the pepper, the fat, the meatiness is in there. It's menthol, I've getting menthol in there. Look, this is one of the most complex whiskies I've had in a while. Um, this is one of the most complex whiskies I've had for a long time, actually, because it's just everything is in there. It's just everything is in there. Just You just have to really think of what you're smelling. I'm getting some shiitake mushrooms, like dried shiitake mushrooms. Saltiness, iodine, it's just all popping through. Look, if you like Ardbeg, great. I would, I would say get it, but... Just take your time with it because you might like your normal Ardbegs, but this is Ardbeg on a whole new level. On a whole new level. It's like Ardbeg on steroids. 
It is like Lance Armstrong. He's got one ball, but he can still beat you in Tour de France. One ball with one ball. Mm. But this has two balls. Mm. Wow. Woo. That's absolutely a wallop in the face. My nose has confirmed the taste. If you like Ardbeg, still be careful because it's not like any Ardbeg you've ever had. Take your time with it. Have the bottle, uh, have the neck pour, and then let it sit. And then a week later, have another sip, have another sip because it's just such a robust whiskey. It is like Ardbeg on steroids. It really is. It's like nothing, yeah, nothing on the market right now compared to this. I've had the 19 lately, and that's got a ballsy Ardbeg. Nothing on that. This is nothing on that. Mmm. Mmm. I'm getting that sweetness, but rubber, fresh rubber, burnt rubber. The peat is strong. Every flavor profile that's coming out is strong. A hit of sweetness, a hit of condensed blueberry jam is still there. The umami, the umami, the salami is not quite there, but the shiitake mushrooms, that earthy, Earthy note, the, the organic matter, leaf litter, soil, dirt is there. It's mineral. It's, the finish is long. It won't even leave my mouth. I'm still salivating from that first couple of small sips. And the taste has a distinct aroma and flavor of a, uh, like a, like a pine cone, like a pine resin. You know, like when a pine cone drops in the wind and it's not opened yet, so it's still quite wet and you pick it up and your hand gets that, you know, as a kid, your hand gets that pine cone. Then you smell it, it's got that pine cone taste to it. Absolutely glorious. Absolutely glorious. It is fantastic. I might have to steal a couple more sample of this. Oh wow, that is one of the most compelling whiskies I've had in a long, uh, in, in a while. Man, single barrel Ardbeg, independently bottled Ardbeg, when you get a chance to get it, just go for it, don't muck around, just buy it whatever it takes because it is so phenomenally different to your normal bottlings. Um, I, I think that is excellent and uh, yeah. I mean, I've given you everything I've got, but let's see if I can get something else in there. No, I'm kind of drunk now. This is my fifth review for the day. Um, so uh, I think I'm kind of losing it. Herbal, it's a little herbal. It's got, got a herbal note to it. Um, I'm just trying to think what herbal is. Licorice, aniseed is definitely something that is gonna, it, 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 yeah. Licorice, like a soft licorice, not a Dutch licorice so much. Soot. A bit of diesel smoke. It's like the streets of Manila. Anyway, cigar pairings. Whatever you give with this, it's gonna it's gonna kick its ass. Whatever you have with this, it's going to be it's going to be overpowered or almost overpowered. So do whatever you want. Do whatever you want. Maybe a triple Maduro. Um, yeah, it's just it's just going to be overpowered by it. Would I buy this again? Yes, I would. If I can find it right now. I'd haul myself out for it. I would. Let's not lie. And I did already with Craig. Thank you. Until next time, make sure you eat, smoke, drink. And after that, eat, smoke, drink. Mmm. I don't even know why I drank that. I just couldn't wait. Sorry, let me nose it again. <laughs> I've had too many. This is my fifth dram. This is my fifth dram. I'm losing. I'm losing my shit. Okay, you don't get that immediate. <laughs> okay, okay. Is that over again? I drank it. I just started drinking it. Like, I'm like, what the fuck am I doing?